Lone Star Slapshot, how hockey is taking off in Texas. The hockey season is winding down with New Jersey leading Anaheim in the Stanley Cup Finals. And while it's widely perceived as a northern sport, hockey is booming along the U.S.-Mexico border. That's tonight's Weekend Journal, the Laredo Bucks, excitement in any language in South Texas. In the flat Texas brushland, there's a joke that it's easy to spot a deer three days away. But plenty more catches the eye in the border city of Laredo, where Mexicans and Americans crisscross the Rio Grande, and Spanish is the language of choice. There's a new obsession. Over the line. Here comes Schneider into the air circle. Professional hockey. The Laredo Bucks of the Central Hockey League average almost 7,000 fans a game, more than any other Texas pro hockey team except for the NHL's Dallas Stars. We've never seen this ball you play with on ice, says this fan. That novelty has helped fuel a hockey boom in Texas, which now has more pro hockey teams than any other state. Here we go. Coach Terry Raskowski is stunned by the success of what many Bucks fans call hockey. One of our players got a hat trick, and one person threw a hat on the ice, and everybody was going, what the heck is that? What are you doing that for? I can get you a rope, Jay. The team draws thousands from across the border. Go Bucks! Go Bucks! Betty Flores is a huge Bucks fan. She's also Laredo's mayor. This is the house that Laredo built. The house is a $35 million arena that reflects just how flush with cash the border area has become since the inception of the North American Free Trade Agreement. 58% of all U.S. exports go through Laredo. We handle more trade and more traffic through the port of Laredo than any of the other ports in Texas combined. And the Bucks, with their Canadian players, American arena, and Mexican fans are as much about NAFTA economic power as they are about power plays. I don't think you could have found really 500 people in this whole city that deep down in their hearts thought that hockey would work here. What hasn't caught on yet are the nuances of the game. Play-by-play -play man Jim Telemonte spends a lot of time going over rules for his rookie audience. Normally, when the play is going on, I'm describing the game in English. Now, if it's, it's a slower pace, I can throw in a little Spanish here and there, but generally then when there's a whistle or a stoppage in play, then I go back and explain what's going on in Spanish. A lack of fan knowledge has benefits. Up north, they know more about the rules and all that, so if, uh, if you make a mistake, they don't get on you down here, but it's only a matter of time that's going to happen. In fact, fans have been quick to catch on, even refining tailgating techniques. We thought the Laredo heat was going to completely melt the ice. No, we're actually pretty okay. <laughs> it's all right. On the streets of Laredo, where boots are giving way to blades, they've discovered that ice is nice and opened up a whole new world of opportunities. The Bucks ended their season leading their league in attendance. Next year sees the launch of a new minor league hockey team, the Rio Grande Valley Killer Bees. We'll be back.